the thought I want to share with you is unanswered prayers are not indication of God's will we prayed for her and she didn't get healed it must be God or it must be the fact we don't have faith it's amazing how we always when we fail at something or when we have a bad disappointment or experience with something we always drag God's will to it we somehow think that God's will fluctuates means how how I'm doing that's how God is doing if I prayed for somebody and they got healed God must be right now healing people but if I prayed and you didn't get healed that means God is not healing nobody since when did God's will connect it to the strength of your faith and Jesus comes and ruins the whole thing because they pray and nothing happened and instead of coming to the doctrine that God might not be in the business of healing and delivering and saving and changing people's lives Jesus comes on the scene and he cures the boy and once for all settles the issue is it God's will to heal it's not determined by how many people you and I prayed it's determined by how many people Jesus prayed and what Jesus said that is the will of God not your experience or my experience Come on. Come on. Jesus is the will of God not my unanswered prayer and just because I tried something and it didn't work that does not mean God's will is now brought to the level of my bad experience Jesus once for all settles it that God's will is to save God's will is to heal and God's will is to deliver let's never mix our weakness with God's will let's never bring God's will to the level of our weakness how many times you meet with men or with young women who struggle with the tendencies toward homosexuality and they all convinced that it is God's will for them to be like that and if you would ask them deeply why they will tell you I've tried and cannot overcome therefore it must be God's will for me what if a guy who's sitting in the penitentiary say I'm a molester I tried and couldn't overcome it must be the way God made me would you use that same measurement for him of course not what if somebody who kills people for pleasure we use the same standard and says I tried to kill stop killing but it doesn't work it must be God's will for me that is a dangerous path when you drag God's will to the level of your experience we always must lift our experience to the level of God's will we almost might say we are weak but God is strong and I might not be able to help you right now but listen let me go to someone who can and let me go get more faith more prayer more fasting but listen this is not God's will just because I am weak and somebody say amen. amen never drag God's will to the level of your weakness lift your weakness to the level of God's will and Bible says let the weak say it doesn't say let the weak say that God is weak it says let the weak say that I am strong means lift your weakness to the level of God's strength can somebody say amen